Welcome to Deep Thought, Paralysis of Analysis. Now, this is related to what I was talking about uh, yesterday, but this ain't necessarily limited to just the uh, spiritual side of things. When you're talking about spirit, religion, you know, you're getting into uh, connecting with a higher power. But sometimes if you're talking about just thinking, sometimes people will see a problem. And they will want to solve it. Okay, and then they start thinking about solutions. And then thinking about other solutions. And then analyzing it from all angles. And they might, and usually this will happen. Okay, you got a problem. They got to solve it, right? Then they'll think, okay, well, if I do this, this, and this, it'll solve it. But then they think about it more. Say, no, if I do this, this could be a problem. Or if I do this, I'm going to need this over here, which opens up something else. Or I need this other thing. Boom. So they start getting stuck. And then sometimes they'll discuss it with other people who have a similar problem. Like you might have a bunch of people. Oh, right here on uh, YouTube. You'll get people who get together in long hangouts and stuff and talk about an issue and talk about the issue and have arguments about it. And jump on each other's case. But at the end of it all, you usually anywhere from five to eight hours later, this issue is still there. It hasn't been solved. So you can do this as an individual. You can do it as a group. The paralysis of analysis in simple terms, though, is you actually paralyze because you're so busy just focus on discussing the problem or thinking about the problem. And usually it's not even a situation where you can't come up with a solution. It's that you're so stuck on the problem itself that you can't move past it. You're paralyzed. And usually because there's an amount of fear there or not the willingness to do what it takes to actually solve it. Indeed, sometimes people get to the point and we have this on the space, I ain't calling names, but we have this in, in this space where people will just talk and talk and talk. And then it's, it can get even so bad that if someone comes along and say, well, hold up, this is how you can solve the problem. They'll fight against it. <laughs> they will fight against it. You know, they say, well, no, why don't y'all just do this, do this? And it'd be somebody who's actually been through it before and solved it, and they'll find a reason to invalidate the person trying to solve it. You know, and, you know, it's, it's different ways in, that it can manifest, but it's still the same thing every time. You get stuck in it. See, understand something. Ain't nothing wrong with thinking about a problem. In fact, you should think about it. In fact, I advise that. Because if you just instantly react to something, you can be in trouble. Only time you should instantly react to an issue is if it's right there in the spot and you have no choice but to instantly react. But if it's something that you can sit back and really think about, yeah, you should do that. But you can't get stuck there. And that's what the issue is. And, you know, it's similar to what I was saying yesterday about the spiritual but not practical thing. It's the same thing. Um, you know, people might get to a point they pray for something, and but they ain't taking practical steps to make it happen. Or, you know, they're not doing the practical things that need to be done in everyday life things. That's the same thing. And like I said, a big part of it is fear. Because sometimes you, you know, it's, it's a fear of failure. Like, you might enact the thing and, you know, it don't work and you worried about that. That's that's the biggest thing, you know. Like, give me, let me, give me a, a basic example. Because people know me for talking about uh, relationships. In particular, man gets woman. Now, you'll get some guys who will sit around and talk about all this stuff they need to do to get a particular woman. Like, a guy might see a woman, he's like, you know, she fine. You know, got that face, body, and everything that he like, even personality, right? And so he'll look at her and stuff, and he'll just think about all these ways to do stuff. 
he'll think about it's like, man, oh, okay, if I do this. But then he'll start thinking, well, if I do that, she might do that. And, you know, you get all these scenarios, you call so caught up in the analysis. Meanwhile, somebody else just walk up, see her, just say, hey, girl, you so fine. Why don't you back that thing up? <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, just go. Don't even think about it, right? But you have to get past that. You have to get past that. Now, like I said, I'm going to say it again, there's nothing wrong with thinking about what you need to do. You should. It, it, as best as possible. If unless, Like I said, unless it's right up on your doorstep, right in your face, sit back. In fact, I would, in general, I would recommend if there's a problem, think about it. Go to sleep on it. Do what the elders used to do. There'd be a problem. They'd say, let me sleep on it. They sleep on it. And it was actually uh, kind of a metaphysical thing behind that because, you know, especially in um, some cultures, they feel like your dreams will give you the answer, whether it's from your inner spirit or from some spiritual being. Whatever the case, sometimes you, yeah, there's been times I'd be thinking about something, I said, I'm going to sleep on it. Then you wake up, the answer's right there, right? And then I go t uh, deal with it. But see, some people, they might go sleep on it, get up, and then add more stuff to it. And then they're stuck, right? So, you know, they worried about the failure, but not just the failure, but sometimes people just don't have the will to take that step forward. That's where they get stuck. There's a lot of people, they're so in their head, they don't, they don't do, they don't take the actions necessary to deal with the issue. But you can't have that because here's the problem. You can think about it all you want and as long as you want. Man, nobody's stopping you from doing that. But um, the thing is, the problem is still there. The problem hadn't gone away and typically it's not going to go away on its own. Indeed, the longer you take to solve it, it could be bigger. It's like if you're driving a car and... You notice a little oil leak. You know, you pull out a spot, say, what's that? It's oil and stuff. You know, and you thinking, if you sit around thinking, well, what store should I do? How long should I drive with it? Uh, uh, shoot, you keep waiting. Shoot, you get a bigger problem. And that's what happens. You got an issue coming up. Sometimes, you know, if you don't solve it within reasonable time, and like I say, reasonable time is... Unless it's an emergency, you see there's a problem. Sit back, think about it for a bit, but not a long time. And then think about the best uh, mode of action. And sometimes you might ask somebody else, but whatever, right? But you got to keep it from getting bigger. But in order to do that, you got to get past the paralysis of analysis. Because it's not going to work for you. It's not going to work for you. So I want y'all to think on that. Now I'm going to get more into what to do, just a general philosophy of what to do, how to deal with the paralysis of analysis, the paralysis of analysis, and also being spiritual but not practical, okay? So I'm going to talk about that tomorrow. So see y'all tomorrow. Peace and blessings.